Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we're going to be checking out Masters of the WWE Universe Wave 5. Yeah, now that we've taken a look at Wave 6, we can go back to Wave 5 because it is finally starting to hit store shelves here in the US. So Wave 5 gives us Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Heroic Master of Dragons. Oh my gosh, I, I love this. Uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper, the Evil Hot Rod. This is a seriously solid wave, guys. Uh, Becky Lynch, the man of WWE Turnia, um, one that I have been assuming we'd be getting as our Tila character for a long time, so I'm so glad to see her. And then we've got Macho Man back again, but this time... He's HWO for life. Ooh, yeah. Uh, so, yes, the Horde World Order instead of the New World Order. You can see he's wearing the black and white, but with the Horde logo. I love it. It's amazing. So, let's go ahead and rotate these amazing packages around to the back side where the Masters of the Universe nod continues with the excellent box art at the top of each package. We've got uh, our Horde World Order a Macho Man there uh, sitting in a throne, which looks amazing. You can actually even see Jake and Kane behind him there. We've got Becky Lynch doing battle with our evil Jake the Snake Roberts there. Again, all of these pieces of artwork pay homage to actual pieces of Masters of the Universe artwork, whether it's from cardback art or mini comics. I love it. I think it's incredible. Um, again, we've got uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper charging into battle. You can see Savage and Jake behind him. And then we've got Ricky the Dragon Steamboat kind of doing his best Dragon Blaster Skeletor impression there with uh, the Snake Mountain Ring in the background. Amazing artwork. Absolutely love it. And then down below that, we've got the cross sell showing all of the figures in the line, as well as their accessories and play features, continuing our nod to the vintage Masters of the Universe toy line. So let's go ahead and get these guys pulled out of these amazing packages, just so we can get a look at the action figures within. So once again, let's start by taking a look at the included mini comics, a great reference to the vintage Masters of the Universe toy line. And all of the artwork on the cover of these, again, mimic some of that vintage Masters master's artwork like it's amazing like this is normally the sorceress right here just looks really really good each of these are only one page long but they do kind of further the story of what's going on here uh this is really cool because becky lynch is introduced as the uh prophesized uh like basically the savior uh it's really great like uh, they kind of do the whole thing where like they're the prophecy was wrong it's not a man it's the man <laughs> the man has the power i don't know really fun stuff i love it love the play on words of course with her gimmick being the man uh this one is my favorite the macho man one they kind of explain what's going on there with macho so i love it because this is uh roddy piper's slime pit which we will see in Piper's comic as well. I, I want this as a playset. Can we make this real, please? This is amazing. But they show how the original Macho Man is in the slime pit, and it plays on how Hordak would turn uh, the heroes into Horde zombies when they were in the slime pit, but instead it turns Macho uh, into a member of the HWO, Horde World Order. So hilarious. Love the storytelling. Uh, this one is really great with the uh, Piper one here because, again, the slime pit is referenced. But I also love the references to uh, Piper versus Mr. T. Some classic stuff right there. Uh, and, again, that same thing happens in the uh, Dragon one, the Ricky Steamboat one, because we get references to the classic Steamboat and Macho Man match, which is amazing. So these are really fun. Uh, they just kind of further the story, and they just add to the overall uh, excitement and fun that I think this line does a really good job of. All right, let's go ahead and start things off with Hot Rod here, and we will use him to go over the basics as well. So these figures do stand right at about the six inch mark. And if you're not familiar with this line, uh, it's essentially supposed to look like a retro Masters of the Universe style toy line in that 5.5 inch scale. Um, there were also a lot of wrestling figures like the Remco AWA figures that were in that style. So this is a really neat amalgamation here, kind of combining WWE, with Masters of the Universe to make these uh, modern retro action figures. They all use the basic Masters of the Universe Origins body as a base. That's the current Masters of the Universe toy line on shelves. That means the articulation is the same as it is on that line. 
with there being a ball joint at the neck. You can see the heads are removable there. This one popped off pretty easily. Uh, it's Wow, that one really is popping off easy. We'll take a closer look at that in a minute. But the heads are able to look left and right as well as move side to side. You got the ball-like joints, the hinges there at the shoulder, so the arms can go outwards, forwards, and backwards. Swivel at the elbow, single joint at the elbow, swivel at the wrist, hinge at the wrist, the waist can turn side to side, you have the ball-like joints at the thighs, so legs can go outwards, forwards, backwards, you have a single joint at the knee as well as a swivel, you got a swivel at the boot cut, and then the ankles can move forwards and backwards as well as rock side to side. And they have all of those modular joints, so I showed you the head, but you can also pop the torso off at the waist, you can pop the feet off at the boot cut, you can pop the arms out at the shoulder sockets, and you can pop the wrists off there. Um, this allows for mixing and matching between not only the Masters of the WWE line, but also Masters of the Universe Origins, which allows for some really great customization. So I think that's a really fun play feature, and uh, it's not really advertised on the packaging, so I always like to show that off on video. All right, so Piper's got some really fun stuff going on with his design here. Uh, to capture the classic white hot rod t-shirt, uh, they gave him the battle armor, but the battle armor is done the same way it was for the Masters of the Universe Classics line. So rather than having the gimmick of being able to actually press the chest and having the little drum roll around inside to show the different battle damage, it's just a hard armor piece that's clipped on over the figure, and it does come with interchangeable plates to put in the chest to show some damage there. Uh, in this case, it just kind of looks like some slashes on his shirt. So that's actually part of the reason that the head's not going on too well because the long hair is bumping against this bulky armor and it's making it so the head's not snapping on the ball joint all the way. It's really interesting. But let me go ahead and pop this armor off too because I want to show you guys how this works. Uh, if you had the, any of the figures from the Masters of the Universe Classics line from a few years back, you might be familiar with this already. Um, so this armor is more of like that hard kind of shell armor. So you can pop that off and then you can pop out the little plate here. We've seen this already with figures like Macho Man. Uh, and then in its place, you can pop in the new kind of battle damage plate. And then we can put the armor back on. And that's kind of how we're going to sig signify that he's had some damage done to him. Um, so it's a fun little gimmick. It would have been kind of cool if they worked in the actual battle damage gimmick with the, the rolling drum in the chest. Especially since we've got that in Origins now. But um, I can also see why they might want to stay away from that. Because this allows you to at least take the armor shirt off if you want to do that. The other thing neat that he's got going on here is he's totally got Skeletor's little loincloth thing on, but it's red with like the stripes on it to make it like the kilt that he wears. Underneath that, he's just wearing his classic blue trunks and the blue knee pads. But then he's got some sweet He-Man style boots on there. Um, this is notable, I think, for Masters of the Universe fans that he's got the brown boots with the white fur tops on there. I don't think that's something we've really seen yet in Origins. And since these parts are swappable... That might be some fun customization for you guys if you want to swap parts to make some different looks for He-Man there. So one thing that's great about Piper here is, like I showed you, since you can remove the armor and then you can also remove that little kilt that he's wearing there because you can just pop that off just like so. Aside from the fact that he's got He-Man boots on, you've basically now got Piper in just his wrestling gear, and he almost looks like just a standard wrestling action figure. The only way that we could change this is if we actually put some boots on him, which... If you wanted, you could probably also swap some boots off from one of the other WWE uh, Masters of the WWE figures to give him some wrestling boots. But um, yeah, you can make him a pretty standard looking wrestling figure. To complete the overall Masters of the Universe motif, he does come with He-Man's Axe, the one from the Origins toy line. But it's done in blue to match his wrestling tights. So that is our Piper. All right, so let's take a look at Macho here. Of course, this is our second Macho Man in the line. So I do want to go ahead and bring over the first release, which has been one of my favorite figures. I absolutely love it. Uh, but when you stand them side by side, you can see that there are some differences. He's got some things that are the same. The face seems to be the same. He's got the same little uh, kind of helmet thing that works as the uh, durag that he would wear on his head. Uh, he's got the Hordak Horde armor this time around instead 
instead of the battle armor that he had before, but he does still also have the man at arms style armor pieces on his legs, which are a separate piece that you need to attach there. Um, so that is pretty cool seeing that. He's also wearing a horde armband now, which is a great reference to the evil horde in Masters of the Universe. So yeah, pretty cool looking at these two side by side. So yeah, now we've got him in his NWO black and white, except he is HWO for evil horde, horde world order. It's really interesting seeing the Hordak armor used here, but with the white bat on there, something we've never really seen before. So again, you could always cross that over with your masters of the universe figures. If that's something that you want to do, you can remove that little helmet from the top of his head. If you want to do that, which is pretty cool. And then he also comes with a white version of the man at arms club there so that you can arm him up with that as well. Um, this is just really fun. Uh, let's see, we can remove the armor here. Uh, this works very similar to the one from Masters of the Universe Classics, of course. So if you want to do that, you can. But underneath that Horde armor, it looks like he's just got a... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What a reveal, my friends. So that was my first time actually pulling it off. I thought it was just painted black underneath. I didn't realize it actually had the Madness logo painted on the front of the torso. That is fantastic. <laughs> So again, I guess if you want to take off the armor, you can take off the um, man at arms boots there and then you've got him in some wrestling attire as if he's wrestling in a madness t-shirt, which is pretty fantastic. But of course, since you've got interchangeable torsos, you could always like swap torsos from the regular shirtless macho man figure if you want to have him shirtless as well. So some really cool mixing and matching. And again, another fun macho man action figure. So that'll bring us over to Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Oh boy, this is a really good looking figure. Um, so the way they gave him like the merman armor, this is the uh, Lords of Power merman armor that was recently released as part of the Origins line. Uh, first as a PowerCon exclusive because it's got like the extra spikes up at the top there. Um, some nice extra paint deco on there, but it's done in green and yellow. So that mixed with the red and everything, it's really cool because it mimics like that entrance attire that he used for a time in the WWE and it works out really really well for this figure I love it he's got like the green headband on there they painted some scales on his red tights uh looks very very cool now of course if you want to that armor is removable it's like done like classic style too you just kind of uh, unhook the back there and then we can slide this over the neck and then over the arms or you know we can pop the torso off as well if that helps us out there and, you know, so he's got the interesting wrist bracers and the scales on his tights, but, you know, he still looks like Ricky Steamboat ready for a wrestling match. This is just a really fun figure, and I'm so glad to see this character included. Uh, but that does bring me over to his one included accessory that I want to talk about. Let me get the armor put back on him here. So I mentioned on the packaging that he's sort of leaning into his uh, Dragon Blaster Skeletor look, and that's exactly what they did. So they included a dragon for him. This dragon comes from the Masters of the Universe Classics version of Dragon Blaster Skeletor. It's exactly the same, but now it's kind of molded in this translucent neon orange plastic. So it's very different looking. It's vibrant. It has a bright yellow padlock on there. Um, it looks really, really cool. So here's my one issue I have with this because this is from the masters of the universe classics line it still has the hole in the back where it plugged onto the back of skeletor's armor but this lords of power merman armor does not have that peg so there's nothing to actually plug the dragon onto onto his back now the back of the package says remove steamboat's armor and get the dragon in there for dragon play but it's not clear at all what they mean by that and in fact it says that but it shows him wearing the armor still so i just kind of played around with it a little bit and basically the best i can get is you can kind of get it so like the little fingers of the dragon can like hold on to the spikes on his armor or you can find just like a good way to kind of like basically lodge the hands between the spikes on the top of the armor and then you can kind of get them clipped up there it does make him a little top heavy but look it is doable like i've got him standing there and the dragon is on his back so i do want to bring in the masters of the universe classics dragon blaster skeletor because i want to show these side by side just to show you what i'm talking about so first of all you can see it's exactly the same dragon it's just done in that new color but see with skeletor here he actually has this peg on his back like look at how solid this thing is locked onto that peg oh come on come on come on come on 
There we go. Okay, so you can see there's like this large peg sticking off the back of his armor that plugs nice and snug onto the dragon to actually hold the dragon on his back. So we don't really have that. So I don't know, like, I think that's one of the downfalls with all of the parts reuse. Like the figure looks great, but because they didn't do any new tooling, this dragon can't actually be connected to the back of the steamboat figure. Um, so that is definitely gets a strike against it. Otherwise, I think it's a great looking toy. Ah, there she is, Becky Lynch, my nemesis. Oh, into the barricade! <laughs> Seriously, I am very excited to see Becky Lynch in this line. Uh, a lot of people were asking to see her because she seems like the perfect person to come in as like our Tila type character. And I do want to go ahead and bring in the Masters of the Universe Origins Tila to stand them side by side because there are some similarities there. Of course, aside from the red hair, <laughs> um, you can see that they reuse the arms from Tila as well as the pelvis piece from Tila. It's got the exact same sculpting and same decor, but it works really well for Becky Lynch. We do have some new parts there. Of course, she's got wrestling boots. She's got her own little knee pads there, but that whole upper body there, that torso, it is quite different from Tila's. And I think they overall did a great job of mimicking um, what I, I think that was her WrestleMania outfit. So it, it's really great with the black and the gold. It looks really good. And the head sculpt is fantastic. Like they did the hair so great with the braids on the one side of the head and the way the hair is kind of laying over the front and the back there, um, bright, bright red color. This is a really great looking Becky Lynch action figure done in the Masters of the Universe style. So of course, since she uh, shares the same kind of body as our Origins females, that means she does have that same bit of interchangeability where you can pop the figure apart at the waist. You can pull the boots off the figure though they are very, very tight. It is doable. You can pop the head off. You can pop the arms out of socket over here. Uh, again, very tight, but there we go. You can see how it's done. Boom. Um, but that's going to allow for some mixing and matching if you want to be able to do something like that. And then as far as her accessories go, she comes with her Tila accessories from Origins. So it's Tila Shield. It's got the same handle on the underside, but it says the man on the front. It looks just like the way it is on her t-shirt. Um, so we can get her holding on to that shield. It's interesting though, because the way that the handle is on the shield, um, you know, it kind of, I guess, I guess if you hold the shield sideways like that, then it kind of is upright, but it almost is like that the words are never upright. It's interesting. Uh, and then she's also got Ka, which is Tila's snake staff, uh, done in the same kind of goldish color as what's seen on her gear there. Um, so that's really cool, of course, because Tila's is always like that reddish color. So seeing that kind of gold color looks really nice on those accessories. So I am very happy to see Becky Lynch finally in the slime, uh, even though she did this to me. But still, I think this is a fantastic figure, uh, and it works perfectly with this mashup between WWE and Masters of the Universe. All right, so there you guys go. There is a look at Series 5 of Masters of the WWE Universe. It's another solid wave. It does give us one duplicate with a brand new Macho Man, but at least he's got like a new look and a new backstory for it. But otherwise, I think this is a fantastic selection of characters. Love seeing a lot of these classics like Steamboat and Hot Rod. And I love seeing Becky Lynch join the mix here, uh, bringing some more females into the lineup. Um, so really solid wave, very, very happy with this. Now this particular series is just now starting to trickle out into Walmart stores here in the US. Unfortunately, unlike Origins, this is still a Walmart exclusive line. So it didn't open up to all retailers like Origins did. So that makes these incredibly difficult to find. So definitely get out there, keep your eyes peeled, watch the website for restocking. Um, they're just now showing up. So hopefully that means they'll be flooding out there a little bit more as time goes on. Thank you guys so very much for watching this video, and until next time. The Toys of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe is available for pre-order now. This official guidebook is published by Dark Horse Books and features over 750 pages of photos and information on your favorite He-Man and She-Ra action figures. And don't miss out on the exclusive bundle pack available for pre-order now from PowerCon. This bundle includes the official guide as well as an exclusive character guide supplement that you won't be able to buy anywhere else. Don't miss out. You have the power.